And so for myself as a Christian, um, I mean, part of the reason why I do what I do is because climate change exacerbates humanitarian issues. It is just absolutely not fair when you look at the impact it's having on the poorest and most disenfranchised people in the world. I have a slight handicap. I faint at the sight of blood. So a medical career was out of the question. I figured climate change is the next best thing, right? <laughs> so people often say, well, you know, how do you talk to to, um, you know, people at church. Well, I don't start by like pulling out the IPCC reports and whacking people upside the head with them. <laughs> if we are theological evangelicals, which are people who take the Bible seriously, evangelical is a very difficult term to define. So I actually asked the head of the National Association of Evangelicals a couple of years ago, what is your definition? And he said, people who take the Bible seriously. I said, good definition. <laughs> So if you take the Bible seriously, you know that at the very beginning of the Bible, it talks about how humans have been given responsibility over every living thing on this earth, which includes our brothers and sisters who are less fortunate than us. Then all through the Bible, it talks about God's love and care for creation, for nature. And then it talks a lot about caring for others who are less fortunate than us, the poor, the widows, the orphans sharing what we have with people in need. And then right at the end of the Bible, there is a zinger that very few people have read. And it specifically says, God will destroy those who destroy the earth. That's the book of Revelation. So there's a lot that you can talk about. But in today's world, <laughs> don't go straight to Revelation, okay? <laughs> it's at the end for a reason. <laughs> Um, in today's world, though, the word evangelical is used in a very different way. It's used for political evangelicals. And my definition of a political evangelical is someone whose statement of faith is written first by their political ideology, only a distant second by the Bible, and if the two come into conflict, as they frequently do, they will go with their political ideology over what it says in the Bible. So that's why it's so important to distinguish between the two.